G'day! In today's video I'm doing an unboxing on the GeForce RTX 47Ti Super Ventus 2. This is not the Ventus 2 though. This is the Ventus XS 2060. But I'm curious to see how similar they look, being that cooler there. At a glance, you'd almost think it's the same. First of all, I want to know what the requirements are. It is good to see that we got 16 gig of GDDR6X, which is a lot better than the 12 gig model, which personally the 12 gig model I see as an insult. Um, especially how far GPU and RAM prices have changed. Or well, GPU have pri RAM hasn't changed when it should have. Uh, I'm just curious here, looking on the back, does it mention anything about requirements? Specifications? I'm not seeing power requirements. Let's proceed then. Unbox here. Take the essentials. And that's all we're getting here. What do we have? Foam. One fairly dense feeling GPU. A little manual, warranty manual. What do we got here? What's the essentials? We have ah, this little boy, the 12 VP or VH PWR cable. So this does not use the standard 8 or 6 pin. We're using the 12V. This does recommend certain bendings of the cable and not to bend the cable. Being that we are going to be using two 8 pins to be able to do that, being unless you've upgraded your power supply, this will be essential. Now let's fold this down, move the box out of the way. So looking on the MSI website, this utilizes up to 285 watts of power with a recommended power supply of 700 watts. So this is fairly demanding. I'm looking at it, what do we have? Display, 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 HDMI. We've got a plastic peel. We do have a much more efficient cooler. And I wonder which way these fans spin. The blades are both going the same direction, so I'm going to assume they're probably both going the same direction themselves. Extremely dense. PCB ends here. I'm curious of the measurements of it. So let's find those out. Once I find my measuring tape. Bingo. Front to back. What have we got? Around 25 centimeters, or nearly 10 inches. Going to the top of the card, to the bottom of the bracket. We are roughly, what are we, 100 or 13.5 centimeters from top to bottom. And we are slightly wider than a two bay card, so we're a two and a half bay right here. So if you do only have two slots before you hit something, this card will be definitely clipping. Backplate. Round about, whoop, where are we? Close to five centimeters wide. Wait, there we go. Yeah, five centimeters should clear it. Which is still a fraction too big if you've only got two drive bays to put this in. Now, I'm just curious, comparing, comparing it to its older sibling, we are slightly larger, as you can see. Definitely slightly larger. This one's a 2060. Definitely diff much better cooling on this one as opposed to this one. Definitely going to require this better cooling. As you can see, you've got the fins going, or the horizontal fins going through. Where this is more of an old school solid block. You can see it going this way. What do we have here? One copper, two copper, or well, single copper pipe, snaking its way through, I'd assume. We're on here, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four, and a fifth poke through the other side. So considerably fatter cooling, considerably better cooling. Anyway, that will do for my quick comparison. Well, actually, let's see. Ah, there's, there's what I'm talking about. This one here is a, is a single slot, two slot card. You can see the second slot here, but then we've got the cooler still protruding. So this would fit into two slots if that's all that's available. 
This one here simply would not. So do be aware of that when you're buying a case, if it where the PCI slots are and how compact it is, because that may give you issues. Where something older like this and a lower wattage probably won't. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you later. Bye.